Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Back in April, I shared a, a private invite to those of you who are following me on Twitter. At that point, I wasn't using friendfeed.com, although I, I am using that on uh, an increasing basis. And when I stumble across new websites or am given the opportunity to share invite codes with friends, I'm sure to let everybody know immediately. Well, uh, this particular invitation a few months ago happened to be for this website, viewz.com. That's V I E W Z I. You know, the word view, Z I.com. I know you're thinking, oh, come on, Chris. I don't need another website. No, no, it's, it's, it's search. Oh, come on, Chris. I use Google for search. That's all I've got to use. No, you know, you, you don't get it. It's, it's, it's meta search. No, oh, Chris, I use Dogpile for meta search. I don't need it. Because that's how you guys talk to me. I, I can hear it. Uh, you know, when you send your emails, that's how you sound to me. In my head, that's when I read your emails, that's what you sound like to me. Because that's, you never leave video comments. So that's all I hear. <laughs> so, Buzy.com is going to change the way you think about search engines that aren't Google. Don't believe me? Let me show you. So here on the search field, I'm going to type in Chris Perillo and hit enter. It's going to throw me into this experience here. It's going to say, well, what do I want to look for? Well, so I want to look for Chris Perillo, but it gives me a, a different way to view the data or the results that would come back. So do I want to view it a celebrity photo view, video times three view, basic photo view, 3D cloud view, site information view, simple text view, four sources view, web screenshot view, Viewsy news view, the weather view, album view, MP3 search view, everyday shopping view, Amazon book view, tech crunch view, or recipe view. Well, let's go back here and let's try, uh, hmm, what do you guys think? Let's try that video view. There we go, video times three views. So I've clicked that button, and now I'm presented with three strips of videos that match the words Chris Perillo. And I can scroll through, and it's showing me it's pulling in results from VO and Blinks and YouTube. Here we go, what's this? Chris Perillo unboxes the Mac Pro. So I click it, and then it takes me to the result. Even better. So I can watch now and then jump to that one. Or I can jump to this one. In fact, the thing I like about Blink X is it actually, here I'll show you. I gotta zoom in though. I'm gonna zoom in and you'll see it. It's, it's animating the thumbnails. Isn't that crazy? And then of course I can, ooh, I was in a Geek Brief TV. Cool, I love Callie. There we go, Chris Perillo talks tech. Oop, I gotta zoom out again there because then it, it, it pulls in the video. Forgot, that was, that was on Wicket. I'll look for you in a second, okay? I'm just going to search for Wicket because he wanted to know. Did you hear him in the background? He was like jingling his bells. His collar, not really bells. I don't put bells on my dog. Although if I did, you could probably find it here on Viewsy. And it's even better because I can dig in and, and go back to those other search types. The basic photo view. Image size small or large. It's telling me where it's finding them too. So I can go into Flickr if I hover over any one of these. And if they're bigger, then it'll show me a, a, the larger view. I can go to 3D Photo Cloud View. And this one's fun too. So it pulls in the photos that it found like that. And then I can click anywhere and I can extend it. So I can type in Ponzi Perillo and hit enter. And then it adds it right here. So I'm getting new photos there. And then I can drag it around and I can zoom in and out. It's really, really fun. And remember when we were talking about pick lens, this is almost even better because there's nothing to install. I mean, that's, it's just a website. So then I can go to site information view. So it pulls in chrisperillo.com, which of course is my blog. There we go. Top search results there. Simple text view. So there's some nice results with some screenshots for sources view. Even better. See, you're just being, you're able to visualize this information in a different fashion. There's even a web screenshot view, which is really cool if you've always wanted to see the, the, the sites that you wanted to visit, but instead of visiting the sites, you just wanted to see a screenshot of them. And I know there are plugins for your browser, but again, I, I'm just changing the view of the search that I only did once. Buzy.com. I mean, I could do this, you know, forever. And this is even better if you're looking for a shopping experience. Say you wanted to look for the microphone that I recommend or the computer that I recommend. Yeah, you're probably going to go to Google. You're probably going to go to coupons.lockernome.com to find the lowest prices for all that stuff. Maybe even tagjag.com. But I'm telling you, if you start using Buzy, you're going to become addicted.
because you will break the habit of always having to go to Google, especially if a video search or a photo search or a screenshot search or a simple search or a mashup search is going to suit your needs better than results that Google is going to give you. I'm not saying Google's bad. I'm not saying any search engine's bad. I'm just saying Buzy is pretty much the best meta search that I found because it changes the way that you're visualizing those search results depending on what you're searching for and why. And expect this to get better over time. You can sign up and you can get more, uh, I guess, history tied into your account. Um, I was, again, made aware of this a few months ago. The reason why I didn't mention it is because it was a private beta and I'd rather share it with you if you are able to try it. So now you can. V-I-E-W-Z-I dot com. Very cool. Redefining meta search. If I were to develop a meta search engine like this, I, I, I could probably have retired because I would have been acquired by four billion dollars. You know, it would have been a lot of money. I, I'm not saying that they're going to get acquired for that much. I mean, hey, my fingers are crossed. If you, what do you guys think? I'm not going to say it's better than Google. I mean, worth bookmarking. Okay, see, they're, they're, have you guys been playing with it while I've been, you know, demonstrating it? Everyone in the chat? See, that's a nice thing. I've got this live video feed when I record the videos, and I have it going on pretty much all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You guys like it? You guys like what you're able to do here with Vuezy? Hopefully it's not just me. And maybe you know of another uh, good search engine to use, or another really cool website. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Tries to down, drown Chris out as he watches vids on Busey. Great. Well, if you'd like to join us in the chat room, we are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we are worth $4 billion, although no one's really called yet to acquire me. So until then, I guess I'm yours, and I'm at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.